All right, guys. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down fancy versus big tag. Kind of a little bit of a uh, little bit of a light breakdown here. I uh, just wanted to kind of look at some things uh, that both these guys were doing. Now, the reason that this breakdown I think is gonna be really good is because Big Tay is running U trips or Pats. He's running Pats playbook with Y off uh, trips Pats. It's also known as U trips. And Fancy's running uh, running Dollar. Okay. Now I want to talk a little bit about kind of the schematics and overarching theme uh, that you're going to see in this game and also talk a little bit about where the meta is right now. So uh, again, this is, I think, Big Tay's first live event, I want to say. And uh, he actually beat Skimbo, beat one of the best Madden players of all time. And I thought Skimbo was pretty heavily favored in that game and ended up uh, ended up getting uh, beat. Now, he did drop a two-point conversion at the very end, so it could have gone either way at the end of the day. Uh, but in general, uh, what I wanted to go into here is u trips versus dollar and i wanted to talk a little bit about cross application of concepts these are things uh to me that are extremely relevant right now uh just in terms of where the game is currently at just in terms of where the meta is at and really just where everything is at as a game so real quick i just wanted to do this and just kind of explain this so again uh, Big Tay is in u trips we have seen a lot of u trips players make live events this year probably more than we've seen in a while. Uh, Tamir made a live event running U-Trips. Big Tay made a live event running U-Trips. And then I can't remember if there was anyone else, or uh, Money Man Michi, Michi uh, made a live event running U-Trips. I think every single event so far, there's been a U-Trips player make the live event. So that being said, what I want to get into here real quick is why is this formation so good? This formation is so good because it spaces the field pretty much perfectly. It's a spread formation, but it's not trips tied in necessarily. And so you get the spacing of seam streak here, seam streak here, and then these two players will motion over into this. And so you get a nice little uh, trip style formation. So you get the benefits of like a trips tied in spacing, but you also get seam streaks and this isolated receiver here you can motion over here and create more of a spread two by two look as well so there's just a lot of cool things about this formation it's very similar to trips tight end uh but the tight end is on the strong side and then you have an isolated receiver on the back side okay so that being said the next thing that i wanted to next thing that i wanted to look at here is fancy's defense and i also wanted to talk a little bit about where the defensive meta is where the defensive meta is right now and I wanted to explain why if you learn dollar, you could pretty much cross apply dollar to almost every single defense that you'll ever use in Madden ever. It always comes back to dollar. It, it truly does. And in this game right now, we are seeing, and I have uh, actually have been uh, trying to break this down on my channel quite a bit, this rise of 335 odd. And so if we were to just look at what a 335 odd formation would look like to show blitz alignment, this guy would be a little bit more in here. This guy would be a little bit more here. This slot corner would be on the line. And this guy would actually be a linebacker that you're walking out, but it's basically dollar. And then you have this back four players that are kind of your primary adjustment players that you're going to coverage out of. The point I'm trying to make is dollar and three, three, five odd are very, very similar defenses. Um, it's also fairly similar to some of the other stuff we're seeing out of three, three cub. And my point is if you learn dollar, you basically can learn almost every other defense in the game. Uh, six, uh, three, four odd, three, four odds, another really good popular defense, really good pressure, very similar to dollar. Why is it similar to dollar? Well, because this guy's just the outside linebacker. These guys would be here, right? And it would basically be three, four odd. So, uh, super important to be able to learn dollar. Okay. Super important. Now, uh, the primary blitzes that the fancy is going to run is crossfire or uh, cover six Willie. And then the other one is going to be edge blitz three. And then the last one that you'll see occasionally, I don't think you'll see a ton is a DB fire send for this way or a DB fire send for this way. Now, what I also wanted to just quickly point out, uh, before we get too far into the video is a lot in this game, you really want to be sending four or sending five. You don't really want to be sending six that much. You want to be sending four or sending five generally. And the reason why is because you're going to be switch sticking out of this a lot. Okay. And we're going to get into this video and we're going to get into kind of the U trips, the U trips stuff here. Of course, I accidentally skipped ahead. Let me come back here and let's get this first drive. So this is literally the first play of the game. And fancy is going to be in a couple different cover shells. But basically what we're going to see here 
and first play, he's sending cover six, Willie, right? Now, the way that he's going to do so is we have this coverage here on this right-hand side, and he actually switch sticks. So this appears to me to be cover three, basically, and then fancy switch sticks onto this player to go play this, this post, probably. It could be cover four, but I'm almost positive this would be a cover three shell. And what's going to happen here, we get flat, 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 and then vert. So... Um, we get a streak, we get a flat, we get a post, and we get a slant. So this is a very basic combo. I do think one of the things that makes U trips a lot better is the fact that you can use tight end slants now too. I don't I don't know how many people actually run those, but tight end slants are really good. This is actually tight end whip, so he does use a whip route. It could have been a slant. I think he might have stemmed this up. Uh, but anyways, what you're gonna see here is fancy switch sticks here. So he's expecting this to to basically play this, but because this safety is so far in the box it doesn't get back. And I think it also has to do a little bit with the hash mark. And you're gonna see Big Tay able to hit him up top with this streak on this right side. And he's gonna be able to take the top off of the defense super early. So one of the things that you can, I think, learn from this game is the importance of hash marks. U-Trips is a very, very much so a hash mark dependent offense. And so a lot of the covered shells are labbed on a hash mark. And sometimes in the middle of the field, they can do different things. Fancy said in his post game interview, he was kind of surprised that some of his U-Trips covered shells that he had labbed, they weren't working quite as effectively as they normally did against the same basic stuff that you see from a U-Trips offense, which is that tight end whip with that backside post that tight end whip and then big tay was using a little comeback right on the right side it's actually a great combo it's a great high low read and uh spaces out the field obviously very well and puts the switch stick in a bind so real quick one let's actually get you the combo here i believe this is just a flat route uh but basically we have a whip we have a comeback we have a streak and then we have a post and basically I don't know what this is. I don't know what this zone is here uh, that Porter's on, but I want to say this is probably a curl flat that he's using to try to stop the tight end corner. And when he sees the tight end go inside like that, he switch sticks onto this, and this just can't get there. So, uh, again, this is primarily due to the depth of the safeties. One of the big advantages of Dollar is getting those safeties into the into the line of scrimmage to play seam streaks better. One of the disadvantages of that is sometimes – then get hit over the top with these with these uh, streaks, especially post patch uh, when they made a lot of changes to to coverage and stuff like that. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into Fancy's offense. Now, Fancy was in Colts and he has now shifted to running Lions. He's going to be running the Lions offensive playbook. And the main thing that Fancy does consistently, and I think something that we can learn, is just how systematic he is offensively. Fancy's not going to run a lot of plays. He's going to probably have 5, 10, maybe 15 combos at the most, but he is, he is going to execute those at a very, very high level. It's one of the big principles that I have just come to be a big believer in in Madden is especially offensively, um, you don't need 30 plays. You know, you need about 10 to 15 that you have really, really, really good plays. So he's going to be in Lions. He's going to be audibling between Bunch X Nasty and trips tight end flex the majority of the game. And then situationally, some of his secondary formations are tight open and bunch wide flex. Another thing you're going to see a lot is this audible around. This is halfback angle. Love that combo right there. And again, you're going to see, I mean, I'm trying to think the number of combos off the top of my head. It's pretty much about 10 to 15. It's somewhere in that, in that realm. Now, big Tay is going to be in six one. So we can learn a little bit about running six one here. One of the big things that six one tends to struggle against is this audible to trips. Uh, 100% is this audible to trips there. Fancy gets a little bit of an underthrow. And um, as you see, the, the smirk on his face ends up making a <laughs> questionable read, I guess. But um, anyway, this is the play that you're going to see a lot. Motion Y post. We got this slant. We got this return route. It just, there's so much stuff over the middle field. And I'll tell you, big quick score from fancy and now the game is going to start right two big scores two good drives uh good drive by fantasy good one play score by big tay and now you're going to start to see the game start to catch on now one of the things that i think is going to be interesting to watch is how fancy adjusts his defense as this goes on um another thing that i think is going to be interesting to watch is the the kind of combos you're seeing now compared to the kind of combos you saw in the first and second live events because they're a little bit different. And you're starting to see, I think, passers in general settle into playing against switch stick. 
and they're starting to find those those power route combos. One of them, interestingly enough, because I think a lot of people thought that this was not going to be a good combo with switch stick is slant post. Slant post is is the probably number one passing play uh, in this game passing concept. So anyway, let's get into this big take combos and let's uh, let's take a look here. So again, we're in the middle of the field, so it's a little bit wishy washy. Again, if you look here real quick, see how low his safeties are. They're five yards. For this guy to get all the way into this seam is really hard. So what I think you'll see Fancy eventually do is go to a quarters look. So here's a combo, a little a little uh, flat, drag, post, and then a clear out streak. And again, we know how good this, these clear out streaks are. So let's take a look at the running back. We get a motion flat. Okay, so we're doing the, the flat wheel. Okay, and then we're going to have that backside high-low. Again, I talked about it. Slant post, drag post, basically the same thing. And then here, Fancy's going to run Edge Blitz 3. Now, when he runs Edge Blitz 3, he almost always quarters. This is almost a cover 4 defense with two flats, and he's going to switch stick. So you'll see he'll probably switch stick right here uh, onto the safety, but let's just see how this kind of goes out. So here he's, he's user in the seam streak. At this point, he bumps him, so now he's kind of free now to come down and user this. I think he actually manned his user up on the running back, which is kind of an underrated thing. When you are gonna, when you are anticipating switch sticking off of somebody, sometimes putting that player in a man coverage assignment on a tight end or a running back or even a backside solo receiver is a really, really good strategy because it can kind of help prevent this type of a read. Uh, as you see, this side is completely dead at this point. So anyways, Fancy's on this quarter here. He bumps the tight end, and then he's going to dive on this route. Uh, so that means, and then he dives on this route. This is kind of crazy. Switch sticks here. Crazy defense. He's right there on the high point, and this is one of the things that, in my opinion, is one of the most broken things about the game is a lot of times when you high point, especially if the safeties are, like, shorter, you just have no chance at picking the ball. So pretty much the same shell here. And this time, oh my gosh, look at this. This is, <laughs> let's let's really slow this down because this is another touchdown from Big Tay. So we get edge blitz three. It's basically the same call. And I, I got to believe this is a middle third. I'm almost positive this is a middle third. He just basically quarters this guy. And then we get a flat, we get a wheel, I want to say. And then I, I don't know what we're doing here on the right side. Oh, this is curl flat. Or, I mean, well, he's made, made shift it, but I guess what's happening is this this route is pulling this zone this way a step, and then this quarter doesn't close the gap. I don't know, but, I mean, good good grief. This is crazy. Look at this. I, I just don't know what that guy's on. Because he switched eggs. I, uh, like, what... I, he's see it looks like this is an inside third and this is a quarter and he switch sticks here and then i guess that just the uh yeah i guess that just can't work so it's just an example of fancy getting a little little over aggressive with the switch stick but that's a second look at that man big tay just swagging on him just swagging on him bopping the head 14 to 7 and i'll tell you i mean this is how you gotta this is what like perfect game is going perfect for big day right now like you've had, I think three plays, maybe four plays, and you had two touchdowns. You can't ask for much more than that, especially in a big game like this. And you're playing somebody that's really, really good, probably the best player in the world right now. And you know, you you got to, you know, getting basically two free touchdowns is huge, totally huge. There he is, swagging on him. You got him, got him on the streak. And now we go to trips tight and flex and we see what fancy is going to cook up. So here, this is tight end in, uh, this is another one of fancy's plays again, very systematic in his approach. So we're going to get a streak. This is a great combo. I don't think people know or not know about, but not a lot of people really look at these combos sometimes. So what this play is going to do, if we just look at this real quick, we have a seam streak off rip and this seam streak is going to clear out. So like, let's say it's cover three or cover four. The quarters, both quarters will run to the streak, and it allows you to throw this post in this area of the field. Now, on the left side, if they are not playing cover two, so let's say this is a cover three or cover four, the outside quarter, outside third will bite on this wheel, and there's a massive window to throw this for a touchdown over the top. 
So that's an option. Um, but the, the other thing is, let's say you send a, a blitz, which he's going to here. This should be wide open in the seam area of the field because the flat has to take the tight end. This guy has to respect this post, you know, so that the user goes over here. We're going to throw the streak. So really high level play. If you got a pin and a pad out watching these plays, this would be something to to really utilize. So you see how this guy backs up? That means the throw should go here quick. He's not. He's going to user it. So now the eyes are probably coming back over here. And you see how, I mean, this is just a really nice combo. He's going to go up top and try to hit DK. And he gets an overthrow, but he gets a PI. That's kind of crazy. There's a lot open on that play. And I don't know that DK was the guy. Uh, but I think another thing that happens a lot in this game is these, when you man these guys up, a lot of times you can just freeform it up and over the top of the man up, especially on a basic streak. Notice he's running short side bunch, X nasty, and he's handing it off. When you run the ball out of a formation that is not an offset formation, like trips tight and offset, tight offset, bunch X nasty and trips tight and flex are not offset formations. When you hand the ball off, you want to be handing the ball off when you're running from those formations with the running back on the same side as the quarterback's throwing arm. There's slant post again. He actually had it open a little late on the read and uh, Big Tay able to get pressure. This 6 1 defense is very interesting because what you're going to see in this 6 1 a lot, you're not going to see a lot of like, what I would consider clean pressure, but you're going to see a lot of like bumpy, glitchy pressure where the pressure is not like instantaneous. It sometimes can be, but it's really more like we get a, we get a, I don't know even the word. And there you see, he goes right back to slant post, gets that touchdown. And you're going to see the power of slant post in this game. hundred percent going to see the power, but the six, one pressure, uh, at least the way big Tay is running it. It's not the way I would, would run it. It's not super clean. You're going to see like it's the, the linebackers bump like a lot. And so what happens is you get a lot of like, I don't disengage is the right word, like quick shed, quick shed pressure uh, to me is, is really what you're going to see. So kind of interesting, but a lot of people consider six, one to be one of the better ways to play defense in this game. Here we see again, edge blitz three. I noticed the coverage quarter quarter or third. Uh, flat and then over here looks like I don't know what this is I think that's just a yellow so he's got that yellow that plays that running back pretty good oh look at that combo that's a nice little play so that's a running back streak in a corner and that third just doesn't guard it it's a nice little play Big Tay definitely has some unique combos that you you haven't really not used to seeing out of U trips. So that's going to be a first and ten. There's cover six Willie now, pretty much staying in a cover four shell. Fancy's pretty much kind of sitting in this cover four shell. I think what he's trying to do is get a little bit of a read on what's what's his tendencies. He's really, I think, here making sure that Big Tay has to actually drive up the field because he had two. I think he had two touchdowns and literally three plays. So kind of trying to make Big Tay have to work a little bit and just you know make him have to actually throw something. And that's a really nice switch stick on that top. All right, so second and ten. Again, the double safety walk down. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Edge blitz, there's that cover four, throws that corner again, hits that corner again, and um, Fancy's going to have to have to do something about that. But on this drive, at least you've seen, like he's had to actually kind of work up at the field a little bit. Um, pretty bag there, good defense. That's going to bring up a second and ten. Cover six Willie, probably. There's that corner. So this is the main play that you see a lot from U trips. It's this Y option wheel with a flat, a streak, a corner, backside wheel, and a post. And this is a, just a it's a quick snap combo. And here I think he has this manned up. And uh, that tight end just does a good job of beating the man coverage. And he's going to get in for Big Tay. And now we got a 21 to 14 ball game first quarter. Uh, okay, so now Fancy's in a situation. Now Fancy does get balled half. Uh, we're in this kind of weird position of the game where we still plenty of time in the first half, so Fancy can't clock this out. 
but he's really not looking that great on defense. I'm gonna, you know, I mean, he just hasn't really. That was the first time we actually got to see Big Tay actually drive, and he had a couple of things, but really, it's 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 not not looking great right now defensively for him because his his base shells got bombed. Then he goes into more of like a conservative defense, and Big Tay just dots him up. So we'll kind of see how this plays out. It's an interesting combo out of. Uh, wide post, don't see that a lot. That's a uh, inside trips receiver on a streak, outside trips receiver on that fade. And then basically just using the – it's basically uh, the return route in the post is really the main play. But Fancy's going to be – and here Big Tay switches out of $6-1. Willie. And I, yeah, you cannot do that. You cannot run cover two against that play. Big Tay gets caught running cover two on the short side. Literally, I don't think you, there's ever a reason to call cover two against Bunch Nasty to the left because it's going to get burned every single time. Unless you put a soft squat, maybe. But here's that tight end in setup. Streak, post. There's that run, tight end flat that was open last time. Wide open less this time. Now he's going to bring up a second and four. He's going to flip. He's got the slant. So this is like a slant post, but on the same side, which is kind of interesting. It's got running back flat. That's a nice read right there. It just takes what the defense gives him. Beauty of that flat is they have to. I mean, you know, it's basically a free 5, 10 yards every time if they don't put a hard flat over there. So that running back flat really adds a lot to that play because now when they start shading down and stuff, then you're going to be able to hit that little fade or little uh, motion wheel on the left side. It's going to go to trips. He's going to trips a lot. A lot more than I would have I would have expected. And we go flat streak. Good read. There's that tight end. Yeah, Fancy goes to trips tight end flex a ton. And Fancy actually started as a trips player and then pretty much became a bunch player over the last couple years. And here you're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of trips, basically mixing in both, but a lot of trips, honestly. I think trips might be just a little better for switch stick, maybe. I, I don't know. There's that tight end pose. I think it's just he wants to run a lot of slant posts, and Trips tight end has the best slant post because it has that sharp post to the tight end. All right, first and goal is going to go to this RPO. What's cool about this RPO is if they don't pass commit, you can throw this stemmed up out route. So we're going to look out here. That's actually open. He just didn't throw it, handed it off. He was probably looking for the out route. I throw the flat route on that a lot. I actually, I actually run Lions, and um, I, I throw that flat route a lot. I'm starting to really enjoy lines though with the mainly just I really like the motion cross post play and I really like the uh the motion Y post. There's that whip route. He switch sticks onto it and takes the ball away. That's actually a huge interception. Look at this pick. I mean, fancy kind of yeah, I don't know. It's almost a disrespectful throw. I mean, it's it was a very delayed. It wasn't like he lurked him. It was like he switched it onto him and fancy just didn't think he could get there probably. And uh and then just threw it. All right, here we go. Big Tay. We got this little angled streak from the tight end. You don't see this so much. I don't know what that's gonna do for him. Fancy switches to six one here. I think he goes off sides, which gives Tay a big free play. You're seeing, I mean, look how open these seams are. Like, that's one thing that's really concerning to me is this this year's game, you have to stop seam streaks. If you don't stop seam streaks, you you can't really play defense. And I feel like Big Tay, the majority of the game, has had these seams wide open. I definitely want to see Fancy get out of six one. I rather I don't I don't think like because look where the safety's at in this alignment. This is a wide open throw. Like we're just giving a lot. He does get the disengage there. But he's just giving. I feel like six one gives U trips a lot of space that Dollar doesn't. Because of where the safety goes. And Fancy's literally just going to send four. He's he's not sending this guy ever. That's never a blitz. So it's kind of an interesting deal. There's a That was a, probably a touchdown. Probably missed a touchdown too. Yeah, it's just I feel like there's so much open against this defense right now. And U-Trips is just a good offense. I think that's also fair to say too. There's a flat corner. There's, uh, is, he ma is it stock match? That might be stock match right there. Stock quarters. 
I could see him doing that too. So stock quarters, you would get this. Okay, so here he moves them in. See how he moved them in a little bit? You can disengage. There's that corner route again. And thir three minutes um, in this at this point, 1421, not looking great. Not looking great right now. Big Tay's about to go score. And Fancy's going to go down two possessions. He does get ball at half, though, so you're never in a game. Oh, man, that was – he catches that touchdown. This game might be a little different. That's – that's right there. That's kind of an open read. He just drops it. Just drops it. He's using Burrow at quarterback, too, which is interesting. There's the double streaks. It's a great switch stick onto the corner. So, Fancy finally starting to adjust, finally starting to switch stick onto the corner that time and take that away. And now we get in a third and 10 situation, and Fancy's going to try to get a stop. So, here shifts left. Again, this is basically just a four-man disengage every single time. Is what he's gonna do. Motion over streak here. Uh, looks like a double streak. Oh, that's just a bad read. Oh my gosh, that's a bad read. So this literally, I think, saved the tournament for fancy here. Watch what happens. So he switched sticks here. Okay. Uh and, and I guess what Big Tay is thinking is that Fancy's gonna run over here with this switch stick. Fancy does a really good job, I will say, because this is open. He switch, but he switch sticks down. So this quarter, this quarter, what what Big Tay wants is to get this ball thrown here. I don't know if I honestly feel like Bert, maybe Burrow's the problem. I don't know if it's if you have set feet lead, this is a touchdown, hundred percent. But he just gets a really elongated throw. I don't know if it's a bad pass lead because look where the ball is thrown. You'd really want it thrown more down. And then, I mean, that's just an inside quarter. That, there's just nothing. That's just, I don't know if it's a bad. The the route's open, but I just feel like he's late. I, I don't know if it's late, a bad pass lead. I feel like it's a combination of maybe a bad pass lead, a little bit late um, of a throw, and then a bad position of the ball and the quarterback burrow not being able to zip it in there uh, because I, I don't know. But just kind of a, uh, I mean, <laughs> Ah, that's a rough interception. And I will say fancy does a lot of switch stick, but he didn't even actually, I don't even think he actually switched stick to it. There's verticals. Look at that tight end corner. Just zones just don't guard anything. They literally don't. You have to switch stick every single thing. And what, what oftentimes happens is you get maybe one or two switch sticks and then you're basically done. See, this is what I'm talking about, about six one. Watch what happens here. See how he just like walks himself into a sack. This is what six one does. Like he sends, okay, he sends four. This is kind of disengaging, and you just see like this kind of just muddy stuff up. He's stepping. Obviously, if you step up, it's probably fine. You know, it's a little bit of bad pocket maybe here. I don't know, but then they just randomly just get off the blocks. Like it's just, I don't know. Like I, I just, it's it's not. It's it's an interesting way to. It's an interesting defense because it gives people problems. Ultimately, which is, I guess, what you're tr ultimately trying to do defensively is just give people some problems. But at the same time, it just kind of like, it's super muddy. It's a super muddy defense. Like the pressure is not super clean. And then occasionally you'll just get a, you know, just crazy get. You'll get crazy pressure. There's that post has that slant wide open over the middle. And now this is also not looking good for fancy. This is fourth and forever fourth and 19 21 to 14 ball game. If he doesn't get this, he does give himself a chance to get the ball back before half, but you certainly put yourself in a position where big take and go and kind of be back in that same position, go up 28, 14, and if you're if Big Tay is winning twenty eight to fourteen at half, that's a lot different than twenty one twenty one at half, right? Uh, Big Tay goes off sides here. I don't know about that decision because it seems like he did that when he audible because he was messed up. His defense was messed up. 
I don't know if you do that because fourth and 20 and fourth and 14, a lot different fourth and 19 and fourth, and 14, a lot different of a, of a play fourth and 19. You, you can play pretty. I, I don't know. I mean, I just feel like it was a bad decision too. Cause now he's got a little bit more room here. He's got the speed out on the right side. Oh my gosh. He gave that up. Okay. So that's just, that's just fancy making a read. Now he is right there with his user, but. That's crazy that that's that's crazy to me that he's able to complete that. Gets the first down and keeps the drive alive again. And if it's if it's twenty eight to fourteen and a half, it's probably a lot different of a game. But Fancy's still in kind of a position to not let the game get too far away from him. If he can score right before half and go 21-21, that's probably the most ideal situation for him. 21-21 at half. Don't give Big Tay another chance at the ball. Here's that motion post. There's that tight end's wide open. He just refuses there. He finally throws it. And I think he might be just anticipating different types of switch sticks that Big Tay's not doing. So he's a little bit more delayed. Um, I, I will say watching, um, watching Dez play in this tournament and fancy a little bit, but especially Dez, Dez just zips stuff in. Like it's crazy to watch him play. It's like he has no, to a degree, no regard for switch stick. But I think he just makes quick reads. And I think that's how Dez has played for three, four years. But I do think that you're starting to see that the thing that I thought was gone from Madden is kind of coming back. The the throwing on timing, the throwing on anticipation, that kind of stuff's coming back. So, and see, this is what I'm talking Look at this pressure. Look at this. This is a sun four-ish, three. And like, see, I just kind of like splits and then he's just there. Like, it's just an odd, it's an odd pressure. It, it is pressure. Six one is always given uh, good pressure to me from what I've seen. Just off of a send four. It's a nice corner route from Fancy. All right, first and ten. Kind of working out really well for him right now. Okay, look at this combo. Look at this hitch. That's a not oh, he makes that read. So this is a cool combo. It's a red zone concept. It's wide side trips with a hitch in route. And then we have this kind of stemmed out route. The idea is the cloud will suction to this hitch, which is what happens. And on this backside, you get a flat and you get an angle route. So big taste switch sticks to go guard this. And so fancy, even though this, I, this looks like it's manned up to me. He gets that inside leverage because angle routes be man. This three rec was switch sticked off of. I don't know if it was not shaded down, but three rec receivers, three rec hook zones tend to favor this three receiver side. And so look at all this space. It's a great read. It's a great combo. And that's a, it's a big touchdown. 21, 21, 24 seconds left. Now, if you give big take three, with you getting ball at half, it's not the end of the world. So it's why you probably didn't see like the full blown. I'm going to truly try to clock this out from fancy. And uh, he probably is thinking too, if I can get in, and I'm glad we're back in dollar now. Cause I don't, I think six, one honestly was just big day making kind of a crazy bad read. There's that whip. He's starting to put more purples out there. That's probably just situationally with the with the clock, trying to keep everything in front of him, trying to just make sure that the biggest thing here is he can't get seven. He, he, you really don't want him to get seven here. So if you can just keep it in front of you, which is what he's doing, 14 seconds. Big Tay loves this, this play. This is an interesting play too. It's like this angled streak to the tight end. He really wants to throw that. I don't know why he likes that. I guess it just spaces out and the seams better. All right, 10 seconds. Let's see, second and 16. 
That's nice. Okay. A little flat check down. Again, Fancy just trying to get this to half. That is going to be half there. All right, so second half here. And uh, let's see what, what kind of unfolds. Let's do a little bracket challenge. Oh, I thought we were closer to the... All right, we got to be like right here. Let's see if we can get into the second half here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. All right, so fancy. This is 6-1 uh, from Big Tay. Uh, this motion streak, I don't know why he does that. I think that's a cover three beater, honestly. I think that's why. But, yeah, running back flat wheel. I don't know if that's like your right. Eh, that's all right. All right, first and 10. Uh, big drive for fancy. If he can go down and score... A lot of the momentum in the game shifts to him. And he honestly, like, his stop was, like, an, it was a good stop in a situation, but it was honestly just big Tay, I feel like, just making a, a, a very minor error. Like, minor mistake that ended up in a major mistake. Uh, but anyway, there's base. Again, notice he's running that with the running back on the right side of the quarterback's throwing arm. He's going to go to, he's always going to flip this to, I don't know what this uh, corner divide. We don't see this a lot. That's good defense from uh, Big Tay right there. That route combo just doesn't. I don't know what that route combo is going to do if they're not in a cover two. Like it's a good cover two beater, but outside of cover two, I just don't know that that's a great combo. I feel like it's just too easy to guard. This is a great combo, though, against almost anything. I, I love this one. It has truly his power plays. I think he's manning that up. Big Tay is kind of looking better at a dollar than 6 1. Well, I'm seeing it gets him on another fourth and 15. Anytime you get a top tier Madden player, was he in six? Maybe he was in six one for that. And he just mans the linebacker up over there. There you go. Um, anytime you get a top tier Madden player on fourth down, that's pretty significant. Like, and not just four down, but fourth and long. Here we get a crosser post and 15 streaks. Uh, he's just going to throw right at his user and catch it. That's crazy. Gosh, that's crazy. That's crazy, 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 man. Yeah, Fancy's offense is. It looks a lot better in the in his uh, in his game against Dez than this one. His offense hasn't looked great in this game. It's a great switch to go into the post. Hits that slant route. That's what's nice about that slant flat. The with the the slant flat concept has been good in Madden. I'm not in for a long time. The year that it was like super capitalized on was Madden 21. A lot of people were running post slant, um, and and specifically running uh, a flat route with the slant route. What the flat route does is it pulls the zones out and just creates a lot of space uh, for you to be able to throw the ball. And their fancy just hands it off, gets in the end zone, and again, couple couple plays go big Tay's way. This could be. 28 to 14, 20, uh, 21, 21, big Tays ball. Like fancy's kind of getting, um, you know, kind of, kind of got back in front of the game a little bit now. And big Tay, we're going to see what he's able to do. Oh, there's a corner route. I'll tell you, switch stick just slows down reads too. You watch these guys play. It's like they understand the power of the switch stick and it can slow their reads down a little bit because they're trying to figure out where you're going to switch stick to. And they're also trying to figure out what you're doing defensively with your coverage as well. And there's Willie in the flat. There's a post. That was a great switch stick. Oh, a D line pick. Huge. That's huge. He gets the D line pick on the six. Willie. A lot of people said dollar was dead and dollars is definitely not dead. First and goal, little run play. What's interesting to watch Fancy when he plays dollar, he really isn't. It's almost always a send four that I've seen. And it's really never like you're never watching Fancy. And you're like, man, he's blitzing and he's got a blitz. You're just watching him. And it's like art watching him switch stick, though. I mean, his switch stick's insane. This is a crazy combo. This is bunch wide flex for those of you that have this in your playbook. Look at this play. This is dig return. He's not even running like everyone runs a zig, right? Everyone. Well, watch fancy. We're going to want to slant. I don't even know. Probably slant like a mesh almost. And then we're running a smoke screen to this guy and a flat. And what happens is watch. The slant pulls the yellow inside. 
the flat pulls the flat outside, and this dude just chills, and it's a touch. It's just crazy. Watch, watch the combo. I don't know what the running back's on. It's got to be a flat. Flat. Yeah, flat. 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 Smoke. And then, like, a drag and a slant. Look at this yellow zone. Drift, drift, drift. And that's open. And Fancy's just going to break some. He didn't get a touchdown, but he does get a nice little, what, three, four, five yards. Puts him in a position where he can try to score. So if they're in goal, he's going to stay in bunch. So we're going to see a passing play probably. Probably. He's going to go right back to it. Dig return. This time he's on the short side. Notice that little detail. Oh, he's going to flip it wide side. Okay, basically the same play, but now he's going to use the zig. Gets screamed at. And he's going to have to settle for three. All right, 31-21. It's huge, though, for fancy. It's a huge stop because it he gets a two-possession lead. A two-possession lead as the game goes on is really significant. So Big Tay has to score on this drive. It could be a field goal, but he has to score. Um, like a really, really important for him to score here. All right, so instant replay. That was the, that was the last drive. Let's we'll see what Big Tay does here on this first down. That was a huge d -line pick. There's a switch stick. There's an intentional, but good defense from Fancy. And again, notice this. It's a send four. It can come in. There's enough pressure that you have to kind of maybe block your back. He's not. It's not overwhelming pressure, but you got double or nothing here, and you're just sending four, and, and, and then it's mainly switch sticking. Most of his energy is in switch sticking there. He almost lurks him, but why can't he lurk him? Because he's got a short corner. A uh, short, shorter safety, and the high point mechanic is broken, and so Big Tay just throws right at his face with a high ball, and very similar. Fancy caught his, but in general, right? Third and twenty-two. Now you see one DB fire, but he's only sending four out of it. That is not a great read. That was manned up, and he had a zone. So fourth and twenty-two. So now Fancy's got him on the rocks, and Fancy knows if he stops him here, he basically. All intents and purposes, going to have a really good chance at winning, especially if he can score. So this is the biggest play of the game. Fourth and 22, third quarter, minute 49 left. Fancy also knows that if he scores here, probably why you see a pause, because uh, this is a huge play in the game. Fancy probably understands that if he if he gets a stop and he scores, the game is effectively in a, you know, he's in a really good spot. Now, I will say, he goes to this defense, and this is an interesting decision. And look at this combo from Big Tail. Let's see if he shows it to us again here. So this is this has been the this has been the thing we've seen. Um, this is that inverted streak from the tight end. I think it's Pat's X curl, uh, something like that. Why this is good, I would say, is if it's cover four quarters, this will be open in the middle of the field, and then if it's cover three, this will be open up the seam. So it puts a lot of stress on your defense on this side, and basically you have to user this guy. Now, the thing that's interesting is he's going to go with this corner route that he's been throwing all game, and he's going to have that running back. Now, Fancy is in a four-down lineman. This is, I call this the Dez defense. Um, this is nickel over, I think he's doing out of it. It could be big nickel over G. That might be big nickel over G, actually. But what you're going to get is you're going to get outside third, middle third, middle third. Or you could potentially get middle third, uh, outside third, outside third, for hook. And then these cloud flats are going to be protecting the stick. So basically everything's going back. The user is going to be in this little box, if you will, kind of taking that space. And then we're just going to essentially run a shed D. Okay. That's, that's what he's going with. I think if you stay in dollar, you probably have it better. It's better, but it is what it is now. Okay. So he goes with that deep in route. Fancy instantly switch sticks here. So he must, and these vert hooks are probably protecting the sticks. That's probably why. So he instantly switched sticks to take this away. There's that middle third. These clouds are are protecting the sticks. This vert hook protecting the sticks. And Fancy or uh, Big Tay is going to throw right at him. And Fancy's able to get the stop. And that's a huge stop. Uh, I think uh, Big Tay clips it. I don't know why. But uh, it's a huge stop. So now Fancy needs, doesn't need seven, but seven is huge. Like, 
a 17 point lead versus a 13 point lead there's a significant difference in that that being said you want to run the clock want to run the ball you don't want to force it you don't want to force it because if you throw an interception that's also significant so this is like a really high stakes situation for fancy and for big tape both and so you're going to see their best stuff red zone wise defensively he's going to go to this tight end in play um, there's that motion streak again. He throws the motion streak, catches it. There's a touchdown. So that motion streak just gets behind those yellows. It's basically what just happened. The motion streak just got behind the yellow zones, and and there you go, 38-21. And now Big Tay is really going to be in a position where this is this is what we call a stay alive drive. If he does not score a touchdown on this drive, the game's probably over. And so we'll see. You're gonna, you know, fancy obviously knowing that he's gonna he's gonna try to put the game away. We'll see what what Big Tay's cooking here. Um, cover four. Fancy gets a KO. I don't know the abilities. I would assume, I would assume you have pick artists everywhere that you can on the back four. Yeah, all back four have abilities. I would assume it's pick artist. Could be wrong. Edge blitz. Ooh. That corner route got just over that cloud. It's crazy that corner route gets over that cloud flat right there. You want to see that cloud flat play that, honestly. I don't, it's just the zones are so bad in this game. I don't they just don't I don't know what they play. Here's that streak this time. He's gonna motion him across. Should be double streaks on the left. Yeah, double streaks. Nothing there. Throw away. Uh, did he get screamed at? Oh, yeah. No, not really. The other thing in dollar is you'll sometimes get these random, like, three-man sheds that are pretty crazy on the outside, guys. All right, second and ten. Let's see. Use on that right side. Now he's going to send five out of Edge Blitz. I'm not sure why he did that. He switched it him. Got him. So this was the thing. He, this was what he threw the touchdown on the first drive. Uh, watch what he's. Watch what happens here. So fancy users here. So now, what Big Tay is going to see. This has been a comeback, but I think it's actually a streak this time. This third is normally going to fan out here, okay. And because this streak is inside the numbers, he can throw it right here. That's the goal. Okay, fancy. This is a quarter, so it's not going to do much. Third, and then I don't know what else he did here. So he switched sticks here. He's in no, no man's land. He can't play it. He can't play it. He can't recover here. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to switch stick to this guy. And then he's going to drive on the route. So see that right there? He fully, you see, there's no hesitation. He fully commits there. This is probably a touchdown. See there? This is a touchdown. But he gets perfect timing. And he's able to just take this away. It's a great, great, great defensive play by Fancy. Recognizing, and this is what Fancy is doing really well that a lot of people don't, I don't think, really to totally see, is he's recognizing, based off of what you're doing in your routes, he's recognizing what you're trying to do very quickly, and he switch sticks to it and he takes it away. He is recognizing tendency. He's recognizing route combos. He's basically using his switch stick to effectively play a match coverage where he's the match coverage, where he's matching the routes. It's, it's very impressive to watch. And it really is, uh, from what I can see, he has come as close as anybody has to actually maximizing the power of switch stick. Now, Fancy's going to shift offensively here uh, into more of a clock management offense, really trying to take as much clock as possible. And so we're going to see just, just runs here. This is going to get us to the fourth. Now, uh, five minutes. Let's see what he ends up calling. This is going to, he's actually going to try to convert the first down. There, Big Tay goes. I think that was a man up. That's actually a really nice read from Fancy. Uh, that man up, a lot of people do that that uh, is going to get underneath of the streak, but it won't get on top of it. And so you can just highball it over the top and it puts you in a good position to be able to make some, make a catch like that. Occasionally you could get KO'd, but in that situation, it's a really good read. Now we're going to get more clock. 
Fancy should be snapping this ball with one second on the clock. I would say one of the things that I really like watching him play offense is he doesn't make a lot of like he, he, he moves with a lot of purpose offensively. Like you'll watch some guys play in these situations and they'll like not take all the clock, you know, or they'll do things like, I don't know. They just, they'll do like random stuff in these moments that just kind of gets them in trouble. Fancy is consistent. And I, I think that's one of the, his offense is very consistent, which is what I like because I'm not very consistent offensively. Right. I throw too many picks. And Fancy just, do you see, I mean, I also probably freestyle a little too much. Fancy doesn't do that. There's the read. And again, notice these quick reads. Like, I think that's one of the other things that we're starting to see is, and I talked a little bit about how I thought this was going to go earlier in the year, but I think this game is going to ultimately be a quick passing game where you're trying to hit the underneath stuff. Eventually, obviously, that's going to give up the bigger play, but those five and 10 yard kind of throws I think are super good because a lot of the bigger plays that you would want to throw switch stick puts the puts a puts it in a little bit more of a difficult position to throw. So I think you're going to see a lot more, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 at the most yard throws. I think a lot of the big, big plays are going to be coming from busted coverages more than anything. Uh, but here's stretch good run. And that's going to get us to the two-minute warning. Let's see if Big Tay is going to call timeout. He's not going to call timeout. That's going to get us to the two-minute warning. And Fancy's just going to end this game, just going to clock it out. So he is – let's see. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Let's see. I think he's just going to take his three, take the clock all the way down. He should take a delay a game here, in my opinion. You clock all the way down, take a delay a game, and then kick your field goal. I think – or he – I think he called a timeout was his choice. And that's going to make it a 20 point game with a minute 24 mathematically putting Tay pretty much out of the game, but a lot you can take away from this game. The U trips defense ultimately ended up truly being the cover for the switch sticking, uh, not giving up the big play. And this is going to kind of set up a matchup between Dez and fancy for the final uh, but very impressed with, with again, fancy. I mean, this, he basically outscored big Tay 21 to zero or 20 to zero in the second half, uh, shut him out for an entire half. That's pretty impressive, especially this year. A lot of people realize that zones are just really bad. I mean, you can throw right at them as you see Tay does, um, you can throw right at zones and they just don't react to the ball. Well, but in a game with very little defense, fancy's defense is ultimately, what got him the stops he needed, got him back in the game, got him the ball in advantageous positions offensively. And again, you're going to see his defense is ultimately what wins him the game. And so I just think it's a big testament to how powerful switch stick is. I do think that it's an interesting thing to think about in terms of now that we have uh, some shifts within the meta where you're seeing three, three, five odd, you're still seeing some double mug. You're seeing six, one, you're seeing three, four odd, you're seeing three, three cub. But Dollar continues to remain the top tier defense, the defense that is the most optimized defense for switch sticking, the defense that has the best coverage. In this year's game, the coverage is more important than the blitz, it seems. And you're starting to see that um, just kind of in, in how the games have gone in the MCS over the last couple of tournaments. Big Tay is going to go ahead and punt this ball, and Fancy is going to just kneel this out. And that is going to be that. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to check out any of my full eBooks, how you can get better at Madden or college football, make sure that you're joined our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Fancy ends up taking Big Tay down and uh, moves on to the finals.